Hey folks, Queen Roadkill Candy here, and today we're doing a box opening of the Anniversary Gaming Watch. Um, walked into EB Games, they had a pile of them sat on the side. They weren't even technically out, they had just unboxed it themselves. So, yeah, if you look at it, so I don't know if you could tell, but on the plastic itself is how Bowser is as well as these platforms. Now there is a little bit of plastic there, so I'm just gonna need to get rid of that. So I've removed the plastic actually part if it was on the box to keep it in, which I didn't really like. Um because I could have ruined the box. It's such a collectible item. I heard in the States they're having scalper problems because it's um, only in one store. I believe it's a Target exclusive. Not the case here. Um, I got mine at EB Games. I'm not sure if you can get it other places. So like I was saying, um, this is all on here, right? So this is part of the packaging. I like how it has this little flap here, because of course that's how I'm going to display it. I do not have a glass display case right now. Here it is without... So it's got the ball game there, and here's how the back looks without it. So let's get this open. What is this? Special thank you. All right. Does it want to come out? Okay, so we have a charging cable here. Nice to see it come with that for the price it better. It's one of the more expensive handhelds. Why is it not coming out? Oh, there's like a piece of cardboard I gotta pull? What's happening inside? They open their own side? Hang on, I gotta figure this out. So it's very, very firmly uh, packed in there. Very hard to get out. The cardboard didn't want to come. The gaming watch did not want to come at all. Yeah, look at that. It, it's all ripped on the side. They're just from pulling on it to try and get it out just because it's so tight. I mean, I guess you don't want to rattle around, but still. It's really nice. It's upside down. So, I've never had a gaming watch, only ever saw them in YouTube videos. It does have a user guide here, which we can get into. Um, I'm not sure if it comes with a charge. So, on button, it's going to be, i got to zoom it up just a bit. It's going to be here on the side. We can see the charging port, the back. And this side, we got some kind of in the light there thing there so let's hit the oh nice press time but I don't want to press time I want to play let's go to game fine I hit time cool I guess I could just like leave this somewhere in the house like standing on something but we're here for the game. So here are the games. I'm terrible at Super Mario Bros, but hey, let's go. Sounds really good. This is not easy playing this through a viewfinder, but here we go. It's very fun, of course. I mean, it's the original, but... I guess with all the fake systems that are coming out, they might as well cash in, right? There's like some ukulele player that once came to my school for like music class and apparently he was so bad at this game and he never could get past the first level that he had actually like memorized how to play this song on his ukulele. So he totally played us 
this on the ukulele. I don't know what... Alright, um, I guess I go to the game if I want to switch games. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I haven't played this one in years. Of course, I had the, um, what you call it, the Mario All-Stars cart, right? I mainly played, like, three on there. Oh, yeah, I don't get... Oh, I can get it. No, I can't. That took a bit. Cool. Whee! Whee! I'm gonna die. I know I am. Ah, anyways. I like that it's the, um... It doesn't feel like the Nintendo, like the, yeah, the Nintendo physics. It feels like the Super Nintendo physics. I don't know if it is. Oh, this is like the, the original one, how they originally came. It's just got Mario's face in it. I used to play a lot of, like, Tiger Electronic type games as a kid. I actually had one. It, I don't know what happened. Um, it was in my storage and, like, I think someone broke in. Like, there's a breaking out of the storage. This isn't so it's gone, but... You know one day I'd like to cover those. For sure. Anyways, let's turn this off. I want to quickly go over the, um... The manual. User guide. Power. Cool, that's how you power it up. Power brick would have really ruined the packaging, so it's just as well. Health and safety. So, okay. So after playing, I just recently got an Atari. I'm going to do a pickups video to show you some of the Atari games I got. But after playing Atari, I understand why there's seizure warnings. Like, I don't know anyone that had a seizure, but like, I was playing this one game, I die, and there is blinking red and blue lights. And like, that's what can create seizures. Like, if you remember the Pokemon episode that got banned. Um, like, it's painful on the eyes for me. But, um... Yeah. That is the gaming watch. Uh, please like and subscribe. I will be doing more box openings. Um, I'm thinking of covering a um, McDonald's like video game toys video. Uh, if you guys would like that. Um, I know my last one, the like video game handhelds, they're like this. Uh, a lot of people enjoyed that. I do have some more handhelds that I haven't covered, but they were the sports ones. And I think I have like, I don't know, like three or five of them. And I just didn't think it was quite enough for a whole video. But maybe if I do like a whole toys one, then, you know, maybe that would be more interesting to people. Maybe that'd warrant a full video type thing. Um, but anyways, give this a thumbs up, leave a comment, um, good or bad. I mean, the bad ones seem to drive videos better. I don't really, but I don't know. Actually, you know what? Put weird comments. We don't want good or bad. You know what? Just put weird ones, just random words, make it look like there's like, uh, some like code conspiracy theory going on in the comments that do that that would be awesome um and then just let everyone get all confused but yeah i'll do some more videos on small handhelds um there was another handheld i was going to do one on edutainment uh that didn't pan out um the screen is locking up on one of them the other one works because uh, I, I just picked them up used right i, I got some games for it different things like that. So that video is on the back burner right now. Um, if you guys are interested, I can do some box opening of Warlord's Dice, I believe. It's over there in the corner. Have it sealed. Um, can go into that. And then, yeah, those are kind of like my video ideas right now. Um, on the back burner type thing. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, if you'd like to see my streams, mostly Genshin right now, that is Roadkill Candy on Twitch. If you would like to see my cosplays, uh, that's, uh, Queen Roadkill at Instagram. Um, multifaceted person, you know? Anyways, uh, please like and subscribe. Bye.